is the theme because I'm going to do that. Moves quickly. <laughs> and when he 24 seconds, who can find him? He's the underdog here in this one against Greer. Real comfortable. He feels at home. And he even told Lozano on the side, and he'd like to show a little something about what he's what he's about in front of a big name promoter. Break, 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 and this, break, this crowd at the getting ready for our main event. A lot of people don't blink. Don't blink. The knockout of the year last year against James Smith. Will he have the knockout of the year to finish 2018 against Daniel Lozano? Well, and Christina Joshua has talked about it. He wants to. And, and, and look impressive and, and set the table for himself because everything else is out there on the line. Well, I know you covered Joshua closely since he's been so top rank. What stands out to you about his personality and the way he approaches the fight game? He's just confident. Like, I really, he just loses that confidence. And at, you know, 24 years, how everything's close. Uh, I think just seems to be clicking along the right path. And I think that's a lot to where his confidence comes from because he just puts a trust in God and says, hey, I'm, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. Comes with a couple overhand rights up in Chicago. His father was murdered when he was six months old. Started getting into drugs and crime and was nearly killed in a shooting in Chicago. And his mother and grandmother basically said, You got to turn this around. You got to find something to give your life meaning. And he found boxing and he has given his all to this sport with high aspirations. Zano don't have nothing for grip. No response. You know, no. Well, you see the speed in clear fights has frozen. A Naturally, a better athlete and more gifted. How do you kind of counteract that? You try to you just try to go to the body, try to take a little bit of that speed away from the faster fighter. Let the air out. Let the air out of his lungs. Well, Lozano connects, working in the pocket with that overhand left. Greer really holding that right against his chin, waiting to strike. That's his power punch. People remember personalities. People remember faces that stand out in the crowd more than they do to move up the ring is that, that he has one of those. You, you see how that left the grid comes in with the right hand? And he timed it just perfect. Like that. Like that jab. Good. 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 He's, he's setting it up for the right hand over top. I will tell you that. Greer got tagged on the counter as Lozano yeah. starts to make a move. Greer, a big smile on his face. When you see your, your fighter smiling. Nice punch. <laughs> <laughs> credit where credit is due. Like you got one. But something, Bo, you talked about in the last fight with Gabe Flores is um, wins 10 by knockout. That that strength, that's come in his last five fights where he's gotten five of those 10 knockouts. He's really starting to come into his, his body and stuff at 24 years old now. And that jab really nicely here in round number three. I like how uh, uh, Greer is in there. He's, he's relaxed. He's working behind his jab. He's setting the right hand up. And we've seen here through three rounds now that he's not opposed to playing defense when necessary. He's calmed down. He's not as aggressive as he was in round number one. And Lozano's well, popped him a couple times. Oh, but yeah. I mean, you got 10 rounds. You got 30 minutes. You know, so you can't just not be out there. Tired. Right over the top. Just that speed. That speed that well, got him. A couple of fights. His career scheduled for each fighter landing with a few power punches in round number three. Lozano seemed to find his strike midway through the round. Gilberto Ramirez rematch for the WB of these middle rounds is where Joshua Cree first three rounds. He's landed some nice punches more than anything else. He's been getting his knockouts in his last five fights. People have been coming him for the, the night night and whatnot, but he is purely a boxer puncher. You know what I mean? He, he's not a, he's not a KO artist. That's not in his nature. They, they have come because he's developed his strength. But he become a pretty well-rounded fighter. As kind of doing something every time that they get ready to engage, which is important for a young fighter. Oh, can not keep doing the same thing. Good uppercut with the right by Greer. Now an overhand right. Watch Greer round after round, his form, his style. Yeah. And he's good with his defense. It's pretty under-punching, I feel like, more than we talk about defense movement. He leads with that that shoulder defense. You know, a lot of his, a lot of his punches, they're, they're really quick. He's, he's setting something. Really to the elite level, you, you know what you're a punk. And I think that, that he has the, that ability, too, because his defense is really slick. 
Lozano not able to find Greer at all in this fourth round. As Greer gets inside with an overhand right, finishes with a flurry and stares down Lozano. Up. And he got speed on him, he'll slow him down. Fight has not allowed Lozano to get too many combinations off at all. And now, because he doesn't just stand right there, he lands just punches and saw. One, two, three. Drops down a couple hooks to the body. And rounds four and five now that you're talking about, Bomax. See, see how he set it up first with behind him. Well, you heard him right there. And he can sense it. Lozada trying to fight back. An overhand right by Greer. Greer with the big right cross. Lozano on the ropes. Greer measuring him. Taking aim, Lozano valiantly fighting back, catches a couple left hooks to the chin of Greer. Yeah, Lozano landed a couple licks in there too with the left hand. What a Lozano chin. Can't keep taking these right hands on top of the head. The moment that Greer has been waiting for. Is that enough of that boxing stuff? Let's fight. <laughs> well, Lozano just standing there. I don't know what yeah. is the point he's of that. Move, he's got to move. Had to counteract that assault in the corner. And maybe he doesn't have much left in his legs with a minute to go here in round number five. And if you think you've seen all the Greer has had, you're mistaken because he's going to get a rope dope type situation trying to stand there thinking that he's punched himself out. Your best bet is try to, try to move around a little bit because he's eating every punch once he's he stands having, there. He's having a good night tonight. Well, it's been about 30 seconds since Lozano threw his last punch. Well, it's becoming target practice, and then oh, yeah. the corner starts to really, you know, kind of think about the health of their fighter. Is missing as Greer dodges, has dominated midway through. Out. He's too bantamweight. So if you're Lozano at this point. Mm. Wow, Lozano. Uh, Greer gets hit with the body shot and says that's all. There's a good combination by Lozano. Spit flying from the mouth of Greer. And you can tell that Lozano's what? got some skills. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 It's, it's just that it's just that Greer's just a little too fast. Yeah. Uh, really, the only wobble was on the ropes in round number five. You know, uh, Lozano keeps getting hit with that one, two that Greer is in. That's the corner yelling at him. Keep those feet. As really, this is the first time early in the round six that we've seen Lozano land. That speaks to the. Defensive speed and the quickness. He's taking his round off for he's not that active. He was the last couple rounds. And it's looking all that, but you gotta you gotta back it up. And he's done it each and every minute of this of this fight. Gets tagged with the four punch combination by Lozano there. Oh. Lozano into that fun. jab, still yeah, going to that jab. Fun. Still trying to keep the discipline. <laughs> Round no. Comes back to the corner, so. I mean, he's game and he's been in, like you said, tough fight. A fighter that's just. But it only takes one punch to change yeah. everything, so let's hey, not count out. Let's not, he has 11 knockouts. Well, that's right. And, he, and outside of the first and fifth round, he really hasn't wavered. He's gotten hit with big punches, but he stood in there and returned. And he never. <laughs> It's straight right by Greer. And he pounces a couple of overhand rights to back it up. A crow just taking it. What a chin on his arm. Oh, yeah. Jeez, how many? And finish the fight. He's tough. Move up and, and you fight for these, these sister belts, the Dead Continentals America title. You're going to. Greer crouching down, just toying with Lozano midway through the seven. No answer. Ooh, left. Put Lozano on his heels. And a combination follows from Greer. He's fast, we don't have a lot of pop on him. But if you look at like the formation point on. Oh yeah. Downstairs, upstairs combination for Lozano. Back to the jab for Ooh, nice one too by Greer. He set all of this up off the jab. Your slow jab or misdirection. Say, like, if you're Lozano, make an adjustment. And now Lozano, and he's down in the corner. Greer dances his way back to the red corner. 
Lozano quickly back up. First knockdown of the bout for Greer. I think Greer gonna come in and finish him off. Seven seconds to go in the round. He might have to wait. And here in Texas, no fighter can be saved by the bell. That's Lozano it. has had enough. I don't think Greer knows it yet. They just told him. They just told him. So Daniel Lozano has had enough. He didn't quite go to sleep, but he took a knee, and that was enough in the seventh round for Joshua Don't Greer Jr. to get his 19th victory of his career.